Welcome to a video on the digitallife.com. Quick video just to have a look at how the Windows 8.1 update looks on uh, Surface RT. Well, the changes are actually the same on RT as they are in uh, the x86 version of Windows, but I thought I'd show it here on my Surface 2. So, a lot of changes to the mouse and interaction of, of, the, uh, of Windows, and that's the main changes in this update. Now, one of the first ones you'll see here is when the start screen is I've got uh, my username up there and the search button. So, to clicking on the search button will bring you to the search menu, which is exactly the same thing as typing here. Um, so, as you can see, it, it does the same thing. So, it's more about discoverability of the feature than it is actually something, uh, something totally new that it's bringing you. Clicking on my name there gives me the option to lock, sign out, change a pitch, change my picture. Some builds actually have a power button up here, and I believe that's on uh, desktop machines. Uh, so that's not here on this. You'll, you'll see in the uh, post that I did uh, about the yeah, one update, I have got a, a screenshot with the power button there, so it's not on here. Another change you'll see is it's telling me down here at the bottom that I've got uh, one new application. Installed, so I've just installed an app from the App Store. So this is about sort of discovering where you install a new app, where it's gone. On Windows 8, it would just appear on here as a tile at the, over at the end. In 8.1, it goes in the All Apps list and doesn't appear as a tile, so you can pin it. And uh, in 8.1 update, you can see here we get uh, a notification. So if I click on there, um, and then it's in alphabetical order at the moment, I can change that, so let's do things, so you can see that it highlights that this is new, um, the new thing was there in, in, in Windows 8.1 but the actual highlight is, is something that's, that's new in 8.1 update. The other change we've got is we've got some mouse uh, options, so as in Windows 8.1 if I press and hold on a tile I get the options across the bottom to unpin and uh, reinstall and change the size etc. But now with Windows 8.1 update if you use the mouse and right click you actually get the same options but in a nice um, context menu. This is better for if you're using touch then uh, it makes sense to have the buttons across the bottom you can use your thumbs and, and do it but if you're using a mouse it's a bit pain you've got to go from there down to the bottom of the screen so now with this you can just access those options straight from the context menu and it does save a little key pressing. Another change is, you know, so when I'm, I've uh, logged up Windows now, I've now got the Windows Store as a pinned uh, icon in the taskbar. I wasn't there previously. And when you click on it, it takes you to that, which I'll show you that in a second. And you see the get a thumbnail. But what this alludes to is something that you can enable. If you go to Properties here, Show Windows Store Apps in the taskbar, you'll see that now I've got the Metro or the Windows Store version of IE and Twitter open and if I click onto those it loads the uh, Windows, the Metro or the Windows Store, the modern version of Internet Explorer. And you also might have noticed something across the top here, if I move my mouse up to the top you'll see we've got close and minimize options and the title, title bar and even the uh, the application icon there, like a f like you're running a normal Windows desktop app in full screen. So if I minimise that, it minimises it. Same if I go to Twitter and close that, it closes the app. So previously you'd have to swipe down here like that to close the app, but now you can close it through that cross. That's obviously if you're using a mouse. If you're using a touch screen, you see you don't see those those things off there. As soon as I move the mouse up, then you can see that. So the other thing you can do is you can pin apps. So the Windows Store app is actually already pinned. Um, so this is my Flickr app. I can right click and pin that. Um, so let's say I close that app. So if I want to launch that app now, I don't have to go to the full start screen. I can just come down here, launch that, and that launches the app straight away when the taskbar goes away. So it's a nice, easy way of launching uh, the Windows Store apps without having to go to the start screen. Another change is 
uh, IE compatibility mode in IE 11. So what this means is that you can add a site so it downgrades or it, the browser appears downgraded. Um, so this is an example here, what browser am I using? I think I'm using IE 11, which I am. I go to the compatibility view settings, add it to the compatible sites. This is designed for intranets, you know, this is um, designed for if you've got old websites that you need, usually mainly for business and enterprises. But you can see there it now thinks I'm at IE 7. I think actually it emulates IE 9, not IE 7, but this site sees them uh, the same. But So that's a good, if you've got a site that you're having problems with, it's very easy now just to add it to the compatibility list and it will emulate that old, uh, old site. One other minor change is if you go to um, PC settings, so we go here through the charms and go PC settings, there is a link to control panel, the desktop control panel. A lot of the settings, nearly all of them now, are replicated out here through that, uh, through the settings app, but I have got quite quick access to that, to the control panel now. So that's the, that's the main changes. Uh, so I'm running here on the ARM version of uh, Windows, uh, Windows RT on this Surface 2. I think uh, there are a couple of the changes on Intel, mainly around the power the, the power button. And as you see, th there are minor changes, but they do go to make integration between the desktop and uh, the modern apps a little better, and you can pin them and that kind of stuff. I think future updates we're going to see the return of the start menu and um, and be able to window these modern apps. But I think it's a good start. So um, more information uh, on the link that goes with the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on other videos on the digitallifestyle.com.